So, okay. Now that we understand that not all cartridge cases are created equal, we need to learn that not all chambers are created equal. In the last video, I made the statement that most reloaders do more harm to their reloads than they do precision. All right. In the last video, I also made this statement. If I were to walk up and begin speaking with the average shooter and I asked them, what does it mean when I say not all chambers are created equal, most shooters really couldn't answer that. And that's okay because their job is to shoot the factory ammunition and they're doing their job, right? But if I walked up to most reloaders and I asked them what that meant, there are some reloaders out there that don't understand that. And now we understand why a lot of reloaders do more harm to their reloads and damage their firearm, right? So what I have is I have uh, a random uh, selection of previously fired range brass. These have been collected from a range. So what I've done is I've just randomly grabbed these out of the bag. I have ran every one of these through this uh, rating inst indicator. So what this is going to do is it's going to give the viewer an idea of what that means by not all chambers are created equal. All right. So first of all, in starting our video, we're going to take our setup gauge for our rating instant indicator. I'm going to verify that this indicator is set up for SAMI minimum chamber, and it is, right? So now what we're ready to do is we're ready to take a look at these cases, but let's do this. Let's start out with a new unfired case. So I'm going to take my new unfired case. I'm going to run it up into the ready instant indicator, and we can see that we're just a hair below SAMI minimum chamber. That's where all these cases started their life, right? So now, one by one, let's just begin running these cases up. Okay? So we could say this chamber is roughly three and a half to four thousandths over SAMI minimum. Okay? There's three and a half, maybe four. You guys have a, uh, a better angle than I do, so you guys tell me. So there, we're creeping up by another thousandths. Okay, so all these so far are hanging just a hair under five thousandths, and now looks like we're at six thousandths. Eight thousandths, you see this? Eight thousandths. Six thousandths. So let's just say hypothetically, each one of these came from a different AR 15 chambered for the 556, five, right? This would be a representation of the differences of all those chambers. Now, I want to hold this one, okay? Uh, let's review this one in just a moment. There was a couple more that I thought about holding when I saw them, but we'll hold that one. There's an eight thousandths. So I, I think you guys are getting the idea. So we're going to stop there, and I want to talk about this case. I want to talk about these two cases. 
These are going to tell us a story. Alright? A story. I told you that cases are a blueprint of how well we're doing at the bench. I said that in the last video. In the last video, I also made the statement that reloaders tend to do more damage to their reloads than they do precision. That's not saying everybody does. Those that want precision will achieve precision, but those that want to load, shoot, load, and shoot, well, let me just show you this, okay? So, you recall that our new unfired case is in the neighborhood of Sammy Minimum Chamber, right? When these fire in the chamber, you see we have uh, dimensionally uh, a growth to them dimensionally, right? So I want to ask you a question. If these are growing, what happened to that? Well, that guy could have a tight chamber. I'm not saying it isn't a tight chamber. But now, what happened to that? Right there. I want you to think about that. While Miss Highboy is coming out to tell me she's making dinner. I want you to tell me the story behind this case. Hey, are you making me and everybody dinner? Come on over. See, my wife is so awesome, right? So, hey, what is on the menu tonight? Tacos. Oh, you guys. Oh, don't even better that way. <laughs> So, okay, so what happened to this one? The same thing that happened to this one. Remember, these are blueprints. What did I say? Most reloaders do more harm to their ammunition than they do precision. And we all do in the beginning. But when we don't take the time to study what's going on, well, you want to see where we always remain? You see, when I take a look at these, hey, these aren't crimped primers. Wow! These kind of look like reloads. You guys catching this? It would be kind of something like this. You know, I I sat here and I, I made my measurements on all these. Every one of these are, are crimped, right, from the factory. The two that are under Sammy Minimum Chamber, that's not a factory prime job, I'm telling you. So what happened? If it's a blueprint, what do you guys think happened here? Well... So let's just say I take this case right here. That's questionable. Don't you think that's kind of questionable? That's a pretty tight chamber. I'm not saying it couldn't be that tight, but that's a pretty tight chamber if you ask me. So I'm not saying this isn't uh, the actual chamber it came out of. I'm just saying it's a tight chamber. When I put a little bit of this uh, this threading case sizing die and I resize this you know just like that I'm still above Sammy spec right what if I did something like this
didn't take much, did it? Well, now what if I did this? Think of that. So, if another reloader, he had a size die, and his die was capable of sizing really far down. You see, Redding, they set theirs up to where they're going to only try and allow you to size back so far, but not all reloading dies are create, created equal. Like now, we know chain, not all. Cartridge cases are equal, not all chambers are equal, while not all reloading dies are equal. So you get a you get a slightly undersized die, and guess what? You just crank that die down, you just crank that case down. Well now what's happened? Think about this. Think about this. And we'll get more into this in the next video. Uh, that's that's not a good example. Let's get a better example. See if I can find a a good example. See that's that's pretty tight there. More of these could be reloads than we realize. Okay, do you see this? We're approaching eight thousandths, right? So if we and we're going to get into this in the next couple of videos. So if we were really uh, doing things with precision, wouldn't we bump that back to where really, really, worst case scenario, we don't go any more further back than that, right? But then we get this reloader, he comes along, and he does this. He goes from eight thousandths, to minus seven. Think about that. You just you just took that case and crushed it down a hair over fifteen thousandths. And really also I plan on doing for my AR fifteen is bumping it back around four thousandths. So who's gonna get more reloads? Now you understand why uh, reloaders can really, really do more harm to their ammunition just right there, right? Right, and so uh, we're going to really be talking about headspace, and I'll show you guys how to get it dialed in to where if you aren't, if if you say, okay, I don't want, I don't really want to bump it back to four. I would kind of like to go back to semi minimum. Well, at least you have a fighting chance to go no further down than that. Why is that? Because when we bump down to semi min then you can fire in anybody's rifle, right? Because if you have if 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 you have a very tight chamber and I have a a large chamber, right? Well, just because I size back four thousandths doesn't mean it's gonna work in yours. But if we all size back to here, then anybody can shoot pretty much anybody's you, know, you see what I'm see where I'm going? So, all right, guys, that's the end of this video. Over the next couple of videos, we're going to be addressing this and find out how we can do a better job setting our resize die up. So we're just coming right up and, and sizing that only to where we need it. And then you're going to get what? You get more reloads. You get a better fit to your chamber. See, not all chambers are created equal. Not all cases are created equal. But we can begin sizing these back to where on a more consistent uh, basis is going to fit better to your chamber and that equates to better accuracy okay so okay guys and gals that's the end of this video on the next video let's talking about let's start talking about looking at our, our primer for various signs of issues okay guys and gals that's the end of this video god bless we'll see you on the next